explain. So dear students, uh, the work breakdown structure is the heart of a good project. So that's why before I start, theoretically, I want to show you uh, what, what, what is really work breakdown structure, how it really works. So I am showing you one example from here. Uh, have you seen uh, one file here, a VC limited? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. Now you see that how it looks, what breakdown structure, this is designed by me. So when I was preparing my own project in England, uh, that case is, uh, that was my uh, small project. Uh, I was working for, uh, I was working for uh, designing uh, uh, a traditional shop to uh, online shops. You see that this is online uh, customer support system, online customer support system. It is a traditional shop and open for 10 to 12 hours. So we suggest the shop owner to make it 24 seven. Do you know 24 seven means the shop will be open for 24 hours, seven days. So they can do business for 24 hours. So how they uh, 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 use work breakdown structure while they are converting their traditional shop to online customer support system shop. How you see that the first one, they start with defining needs. So you can say defining needs, but, but defining needs is the only one task? No, what they did, what, what we did, how we suggest that MVC Limited, uh, uh, how they can uh, break these task into many other tasks. So defining needs is divided into 1.1, then 1.1.1, then under 1.1.1, there is 1.1.11, 1.1.12, that should be, and, and here, this is 1.1.2. So how work breakdown structure works? So defining needs is the one task, the, the task, but now we are breaking this, so start breaking. What we did, identifying existing and required resources. Now you see, what you did, what resources they have. They are already a traditional shop. Now we want to identify what resources they need if they want to convert this shop to online shop. And that's why what they have now existing and what required. Now, what will happen? You can find out the gap. So under this, what we are doing, that what existing resources they have and what required resources they need related to IT, related to human resources. Within IT, then again, we have divided this task into two what hardware they have and what hardware they need, what software they have and what software they need. I think you have some ideas about what breakdown structure. Now, number two, the broad category is budget preparation. That is task one, but you can't be a successful project manager if you can't break this budget preparation into several tasks. What it is, you need a financial budget. You need activity budget. Under activity budget, again, we are dividing you. You need IT budget. You need administrative and promotions budget. You need research and development, salaries and dot, dot, human, human resource related budget. Now again, IT budget is divided into two. You need budget related to hardware, software, and web and internet. And also you need a budget for maintenance. So if you can't go for work breakdown structure, believe me, so many cases, 
even in Bangladesh, still we find many organizations that have no idea about what breakdown structure. So what they did, they are facing problems. How they are facing problems? They have hardware budget, they have software budget, but they don't have maintenance budget. And what is happening? After six months or one year, they are unable to run their system successfully because shortage of budget. So these way, what breakdown structure really helps you each and every components you need to cover within a task. So here under human resource, you have they have divided some related to a structural development and some are related to training development. Then number three is procurement. So you can have only one task related to procurement. We say procurement means purchase, but you see that they have explained very properly that what are the tasks you should consider within procurement. So you see the first one, you have to design tender. The second one, you have to go for advertisement who are interested to participate. Then third one, after receiving application, you have to go for application appraisal and selection of suppliers. And the last one, you will go for documentation and purchase. So the whole process, the one task only procurement is divided into four tasks. And these way, everything is done, board, now the time to installment, installation, because you want to convert your shop into online shop. So when in installation, you need to think first hardware installation, then software, web designing and internet, then in installation and testing of your website, whether it's really meeting the demand of the customers. And if any change required, then you have another task that change if required. Last one is implementation and evaluation. So that is also again divided into many tasks, work breakdown is following, work breakdown structure. What it is, you have to invite. So you see that that is also a task written in the project that when you go for inaugurate, you have a task to invite guests and then you have to inaugurate. And then uh, feedback evaluation on the other hand side. Why, when you implement, you have to test your implementation. So whether your test is successful or not, only you can get the result if you receive the feedback from the customers. And then final quality check. Some of you have already mentioned TQM, following TQM, final quality check. And once it is really successful, now the time to transfer the project to the owner of the FVC Limited. So this way, work breakdown really works. I'm not explaining theoretically. I have shown you practically what I have designed, what is really work breakdown structure. 